My next guest tonight is a popular recording artist and an actress who's been in such films as The Princess Diaries and A Walk to Remember. Starting tomorrow, she can be seen starring in the brand new movie, How to Deal. Please welcome Mandy Moore. <laughs> You look gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming here. No nice problem. to have you on well, the show. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep doing that for the whole segment. Thank you. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> no. Um, I, I heard today that you were, not the movie you're promoting now, but you've been shooting this, uh, this, this new movie. Yes, in Prague. In Prague, which I've never been to Prague. Go to Prague. Go to Prague. Yes. Let's all go to Prague. Let's it's part of the go. show. People uh, are crazy in Prague. <laughs> There are buses downstairs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're gonna take buses to Prague. Did you learn any, did you learn to speak any Czech while you were there? Uh, Dobriden, that's hello. Oh. Jak uh, samash, that means how are you. Also, I have my little timeout in Prague book, and um, it has pick up lines and put down lines. So lines for you to, ways which, that you can Which meet. I haven't memorized yet, but yes, like pick up lines because Prague is actually has, is, is kind of well well known for its nightlife. Right, right. So obviously that's when you would be using them. So but, a guy, um, but how, how good would it be for someone to be holding like a book <laughs> trying to pick up a girl? That's hot. Yeah. That's attractive. Um, what's, the, like, like, what's a line? Well, I, I haven't memorized them yet, but apparently that you can learn how to say, do you want to try my goulash in Czech? And that's supposed to be a pickup line. I've tried that line with no success. <laughs> All Sorry through the 1980s, that. I was like, goulash ladies? <laughs> Slam! Uh, what else? Anything else? Um, oh, goodness. Uh, I lost the keys to my place. Is there room for me at yours? Like, isn't that a little forward? Yeah, it also tells them up front, you're an idiot. Like, <laughs> I've lost my keys. <laughs> I'm irresponsible, yeah. stay away. Is there goulash there? <laughs> um, that does sound terrible. So yeah. you didn't really, you don't have to memorize those, because no, those no, would no. not work. Those would not work, no, no now, pickup lines. In that movie that you were uh, shooting in Prague, there was some nudity, but you don't have to be naked, is no, that right? No, I'm, I'm quite a modest girl, and that's something that I'd like to stay away from. So I actually had to go through the trouble of picking a butt double. Um, because you know, in, in Prague, you can just do this, probably. <laughs> I've learned this is the international symbol. For bum? For, yeah, for and bottom. And yeah. if one cheek is slightly higher, you can raise the hand. For some reason, it feels really weird. I don't think I should be doing that. No, no, like no one should be doing thing. this. Yeah. I'll be taken off the air, I'm sure, for doing this too often. <laughs> but so, so you, how do you pick someone to portray your butt. How do very, you do that? Very carefully. Actually, I, I received a manila envelope full of girls in bathing suits facing the wall, so you only saw their behinds. And they were standing in high heels, kind of a la a Miss America pageant. Right, right. Well, not whistling. Why would yeah. I want to see that? Um, so no, I, I think he wanted to see that. <laughs> because what happened well, there. I'll pass them on down yeah, to you. Yeah. Um, so basically, I, how am I supposed to be objective about women's behinds and what looks like mine and what doesn't? Should I pick one that's better than mine? Well, see, that's the thing, is do you want to find a butt that matches your butt? Yeah. Or I myself would try and improve on my existing butt. I, decided, I would try and step up. I, I did. I think I stepped up to a, a greater model or whatever you would call it. Um, so. <laughs> the Excelsior model. <laughs> try our Excelsior line. Gleam, <laughs> gleam. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. So, uh, so you picked experience. it, and then the, the person did a good job? She felt very free. She actually had to strip down and jump in the Vltava River, which is the river that runs through Prague, and she did a great job. Not that I was watching or anything, but, you know, she did what she had to do, and No, but others thankful. were watching, I'm sure. The crew was there. The 150 male crew members yeah. were watching. You guys don't have to be here today. That's all right. <laughs> You're two hours early. That's okay. <laughs> I, was, um, I was reading Seventeen magazine the other day, which You I... read Seventeen. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I was looking for diet tips and... Uh... <laughs> No, and uh, you wrote an article for Seventeen magazine. I did on um, the, my, my sixty things I'd like to do before I turn thirty. Right. Yes. Right. And and one of them was you wanted to get an autograph. An autograph. Um, I've never kind of stood in line and, and gotten anyone's autograph before, so that's something that's on... on. Uh, some guy in the audience just went, Conan! <laughs> Can I have your Yeah, autograph? right, right. Yeah, that's okay. I think you probably want to aim a little higher than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing. No, come on! Really? You want mine? Yeah. All right, there we go. I... She's not have a piece of paper lying there. Ah! 
I just licked the pen. I got uh huh. I, uh, 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 okay, all right. Okay. Nice black streak. Oh, yeah. I just licked the pen like an ass, all right? <laughs> all right, you get the cones, bitch. <laughs> Look at that. I tried to make it really wow. cool looking for you, and uh, look what it came out. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. I have a call. You know what's sad? Place. You know what's a sad? Small feet, but nonetheless, it works. I know I'm going to see that in the trash on the way out tonight. <laughs> it's all ripped up in the trash can right outside. That's a true story room. that actually happened to me. Like, early on when I first got the show, I went to some event. There was a bunch of people there, yeah. and one person asked for an autograph, and suddenly everyone was like, Conan, I want one, do I want one, do I want one, do? So I was, like, signing them, and then I was later on, like, hours later, leaving the event, <laughs> and I saw two of them in the gutter blowing away. <gasps> no, don't be sad about I'm that. Sorry. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Was great. Huh? What the hell? <laughs> Security. Um, we have a clip here from How to Deal. Yes. And uh, help us set this clip up. Um, this clip is basically um, kind of in the midst of a talk that I'm having with my friend who I feel is completely disillusioned about love. My character in the movie just doesn't believe love exists. She feels like a true outsider. And uh, my friend has a very different opinion. So I'm trying to relay, relay my opinion to her. OK, convince her. All right, let's take a look at this clip from How to Deal. You <laughs> I feel dirty watching. <laughs> I'm too old to watch. Um, How to Deal opens tomorrow. It does. So, uh, and thanks so much for coming by. Thank you for having me, and thank you for the autograph. That's not, my autograph looks a little different than that. Mandy Moore, everybody, thank you very much for being here. I'll be right back. Joe Buck's here. Stick around. That was really good.